Hello YouTube, here's where we got up to in the last video but we'll just quickly go over how we got there with all the drilling and the banging and smashing up bits of cast iron and whatnot and then we'll get straight back to to where we are Oh yeah. Oh boy. Best place I've ever seen. Okay, we're on with the stairs again. Jules is helping again. And we've just taken the top off the pole. Hooked this up, but that was rubbish. It didn't really work very well, so we just passed some of the steps up. Now we need to take some of these joists off. That joist, that joist, that joist are going to come out. You can just see your head. <laughs> Cutting the stairs here is a bit of a change of plan, and I had put things together in a, a way which was making it very difficult for us to undo the joist so i ended up just giving up and putting a circular saw through it would have been nice to take the joist out of the joist hangers and and whatnot but it was just um, turning into a a bit of a mare This morning, we're completely iced over. The fire's on. Lots of spindles that need a bit of attention. As you can see, all these threads need a bit of attention, and they're going to get it. Definitely. Imperial, that one, that's our tap and die, ready to make some threads good again. Popping this sock on them just to protect them a bit, I know they're already damaged but I don't want them to damage them any further. Getting that locked in, cutting paste, cutting and tapping compound, putting that on it. This one's going on really nicely. Wonderful.
of nice sharp threads to go up it's going to make things a lot easier to put together this is broken here so grind it out weld it on the inside and then this, this bottom step which is an important step has got a big crack in it god it's hot oh god it's hot oh my god uh, so I'll do the same again weld it from underneath try and make it strong again I need to heat it up before welding it because it's cast iron safety enthusiasts I know it's not ideal welding inside but I want to give it the best chance I can Ziggy's locked away I've got a hose pipe at the ready so it just needs to be warm I want it to I want it to work so that's that's why it's inside obviously it's not ideal but the, the cast dying step is on the log burner so that when I'm welding it it cools down slowly because I was finding that each time it cooled down from expanding from the intense bead of weld that was put on there it would crack and each time it cooled down where I'd welded or somewhere new it would crack again and again and again and I kept on trying to find ways of cooling it down slower putting sand on it heating it with the blowtorch and each time crack some blooming splitting down there each time I've tried welding it up and that's it that's a, a another grind down crack put another bead yeah. on and it's it, not so good is it each I need no matter how hard I tried to cool it down slowly even Steve popped in for a brew and ended up helping <laughs> to try and cool it down um, but yeah I spent hours and hours and I just kind of had to settle for it um, not being perfect and not working as it should um, and we're just going to see how it goes and try and spread the load out of it Okay, we're just about to put the balustrades on, we've got everything in and it's looking amazing. We're, uh, we're both super impressed with it. Chilling in 
we've got a bit further with these stairs, which is fantastic. They're looking absolutely well. I think they look brilliant. Really, really pleased with them. Um, yesterday, when I was trying to repair this step, um, I, I caught the art quite a lot of times. I was welding for quite a long time. I'm not used to it. And um, I've got uh, welders flash. I don't know if you can see, but I've got um, like a, but quite red puffy eyes, and it's um, it's like I've got sand in my eyes, I suppose. So I'm just having a bit of a steady away day today. Um, but we'll go over a few things, and uh, yeah. This is the step that I've been try trying to repair. You can't see underneath it, but you can see. I should be able to see that there's a crack, a crack in it here and each time I welded it it was just cracking off in different places which was super frustrating um, so what I think I'm going to do the solution to that is going to be I put a longer threaded bar into the bottom of this and support this step and support this step because it's got a place which I welded up here look back on and so this will be supported down here this will be supported here and it's going to help to share to distribute the load on the outside because I expect that the load just goes down to those points and if it's going through this it's just gonna it's just gonna aggravate it it's gonna be like my eye <laughs> um, yeah so so this one's going to take a bit more of the grunt, this will take a little, little bit and hopefully the load will be distributed a little bit more evenly. I don't know how long it's taken for that to crack but that's that. The other thing is, I have a confession, and that is that my calculations were 30 degrees out. So 360 degrees gets you 12 steps but it gets you to the back step. So. Probably best off drawing this. These are my my calculations uh, that I did on the last video, and actually, 12 steps gets you round to there. So that's 30. So my calculations, which I said it'd be th a full full rotation plus two steps, well, it was actually a full rotation plus one step. So 12 steps doesn't get you from front to front, it gets you from front to back, and that's 360 at 12. 12 equals 330. So our calculation where I said it was 420 is actually 390. So we go around there. This top step here, is in line with the 13th step that's step 12 so i'd really like it to come out where i'd planned and i think it's going to actually work better up here because if you're coming through here it's it would flow better if the first step was here it flows really nicely now but it, it would just be slightly better if it came around 30 degrees so that's what i'll do just twist everything around which is no biggie because i need to take all these posts off which is another point there's nothing there to go into they should all be a bit more like this and that's got somewhere for the end to go into which will be a case of <laughs> welding again and trying to untwist it, blobber weld, blobber weld, blobber weld, untwist. So that's to do 14 times pretty much. Then I'll get some rod, thread it to the same threads as these spindles and and then put slip those over, cut the top off and it should be pretty seamless. And levels wise it's worked out really well. So that's, hopefully you can see, that's the top of the, the floor, where the floor is going to go to. It's going to go to about here. And by the time there's some, some more flooring on top of that, it'll be, it'll just be, be right. It's, it's just worked out lovely height wise. Really, it, it couldn't have gone any better to be fair. Um, yeah, capped with that. I was expecting to have to put a shim at the bottom or, or something, but it's, uh, you know, it's, it's worked out nice. It just needs that spinning round. 
and that spinning around there it'll make it easier for for heading through there and because that's a little bit low and it, it'll just as i say it'll just flow flow better it's not such an, a right angle corner by the time we've got a banister on there so it'll just be better to come out here and better to come out a bit more like, around there when you're coming through the door i think this is going to be this is going to be the end of this video just got these to to do in the next one get this balustrade all um, fixed up sort out the top twist this round uh, so i've got plenty to do and it'd be quite awkward to do as well i think more welding all right thanks for watching <laughs>